Good morning, students. Welcome back to RV online classes. Or uh, today I am going to teach you or uh, the lesson of both lesson Pip and the escaped prisoner. Uh, before uh, starting the lesson, or uh, just I want to warm up you uh, by. words by asking for missing words for here here they had given one picture a man is standing in a prison prison means you are jail now uh, I am writing some missing letters complete the words With one letter, first one, this man is in P dash. I S O N. Next, second one. He wants. He wants to. <coughs> he is dash A P B. Third one. E P. Run sorry. Run sorry. He will. He will be. H U N dash R Y I. H dash on the STY. Fourth one, he will need, he will need, yeah, dash O D and something. Also, name the more N P dash and warm C M O P. Yes. Here, first one. This is the man is in a dash. Uh, means P dash I S O N. Here, which letter is we must write here? Prison. R. Next one. He wants to E S dash A P E. What is the word? Yes, you are right. Escape. E S C A P E. Escape. If he runs away, he will be Hachurian dash Arvai. What is the word? Yes, you are right. Hungry. And T H dash R S T Y. Thirsty. What is the word? Yes, you are right. Thirsty. Your hungry H U N G R Y and 
thirsty, T H I R S T Y, thirsty. He will need F dash O D and something to D I R I dash K. What is the word here? Yes, food. Here you must write O. Next, and something to D R I dash K. What is the word? Drink. So we must write here. Yell. Next one. He will also need M O N E dash and what C L O T dash E S. Here, what is the word? Money. Money. M O N E Y. Next, C L O T dash E S. What is the word? Clothes. Here we must write hat. So this is this man is in prison. He wants to escape. Next, if he runs away, he will be hungry and thirsty. He will need food and something to drink. Next, he will also need money and more clothes. Next, here in your reader, they have given some uh, pictures and they asked the question. I want to write the words. circle the object object that might that might be in the J with the prisoner we are given suitcase chain wallet So he is four. Here we must circle the thing which is in the prisoner. Suitcase, chain, wallet, handcuffs, uh, saw, keys, bar. Which one is correct? Which one we must circle? Yes, handcuffs. Now I want to start the lesson. Here this, it is the story about the poor boy called Pip who became rich but he wasn't always happy. Pip's parents died when he was small so he lived with his older sister and her husband Joe who was a blacksmith. A, who, who is called as blacksmith? A person who makes horse shoes and other useful metal objects is known as blacksmith. One day when Pip was in graveyard, he met an escaped prisoner. 
this is the starting of the lesson now i want to read the lesson zo was the blacksmith who worked the frost he was very big and i was very small but we understood each other we also shared a problem our problem was mrs jo and mrs jo's temper which was sometimes very fiery neither jo nor i could do much about it but we put up with it together and mrs uh, jo put up with us just mrs jo was very good at finding jobs to keep me out of trouble she found me one and christmas eve she sent me to the graveyard to tidy round the graves it was very quiet in the graveyard some of the uh, gravestones were very old and some were quite new like those of my family i couldn't cry at the for it worried jo and it angered mrs jo but i could cry as much as i liked in the grave and and since it was christmas eve and gray and damp and the wind was so cold and i was al all alone that's what i did i slipped and then rubbed my eyes with my muddy hands my tears came faster and faster it seemed to me that my tears were the only warm things in the whole cold world and that thought made me more sorry for myself than ever i cried and cried as a thin mist crept in form of the marsh stop your noise i left terror the voice had come from the shadows by the wall the shadow moved and became terrible figure a man perhaps he looked like a man variously dragged out from the soaking earth he was dripping wet and cold as clay his hands gripped my arms and his terrible or uh, horrible voice said he might cut my throat i believed every word but he did not cut my throat he tipped me upside down and empty my pockets he kept a piece of bread with me when i could to throw to a savage starving dog that guard a nearby form the terrible man ate that dry bread as if he might die if he didn't and he mentioned that he might also eat me now i want to explain here at the beginning of the lesson they had given that the pip's parents were dead and he is living with his old sister and her husband her husband's name was zo zo was a blacksmith a blacksmith means Blacksmith. I already told you. A smith. Smith means a worker. In metal. Working with.
iron a blacksmith the son smith who works with the iron froze means a place where blacksmith makes the things using iron froze means froze means a place a place where a black blacksmith blacksmith makes things using iron so it means a place where the smith makes the things by using iron he was very big and i was very small jo was very big and pip was very small but we understood each other they are understanding each other we also share a problem here both are facing the same problem that problem was mrs jo and mrs jo temper temper means anger which was sometimes very fiery neither so nor i could do much about it fiery means consisting of of fire or irritable your fire it means irritate your fire means irritate but both are not able to control it mrs jo was very good at finding the jobs to keep me out of trouble mrs jo was always finding the job to pip to keep him away from the trouble she found me one on christmas eve she found one job such job uh, on christmas eve what is meant by christmas eve the day before the christmas festival is known as christmas eve she sent me to the graveyard to tie around the graves here graveyard means uh, where the grave is there that place where the grave is there what is meant by grave grave a place where a place where <coughs> a dead person is buried person is buried grave means a place where a dead person is buried it was very quiet in the graveyard no one will be there so it is very quiet some of the grave stones were very old and some were quite new here in the graveyard stones are there some are very old and some are very new like those of my family he is comparing that one to his family i couldn't cry at the fro it worried so and it angered mrs jo he couldn't cry when he is in the home but i could cry as much as i like in the graveyard 
what he is saying i can cry how much i want and since it was christmas eve and gray and damp see her what he is saying uh, it was christmas eve and gray and damp here uh, when he went to that uh, graveyard on that day was christmas eve as i already told you the christmas eve means one day before the christmas festival when the uh, land also damp damp uh, moist and the wind was uh, wind was cold and i was all alone no one is with him that's what what i did i said हैंड्स he is working that graveyard so his hands are uh, muddy and he is uh, rubbing his eyes with that muddy hands my tears come faster and faster he is crying so the tears are coming from his eyes it seemed to me that my tears were the only warm thing in the whole cold world see here how he is feeling he is feeling that hotness with the tears coming from his eyes everything is cold and that thought made me more sorry for myself than ever he is feeling sorry i cried and cried as a thin mist crept in in the form of marsh see here he is gone crying 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 and uh it uh looks like a marsh marsh means an area of land that is always wet marsh means the area of marsh area of land that is always but see what he is he want to explain that he is comparing his face to the land and what he is saying it was marsh because uh, by flowing that to tears his face become marsh stop your no noise suddenly he heard the voice stop your noise i left into terror i left into terror terror means great fear or panic Terror. Terror means great fear or panic. Fear. Why he is feeling the fear means it is graveyard and he is 
all alone by listening that was he felt that fear and he became panic the voice had come from the shadows by the wall the shadow moved and became a terrible figure of a man perhaps sir after some time the voice had come from the shadow by the wall the shadow moved and became a terrible figure sir they had uh, shown you that figure terrible terrible means awful He looked like a man freshly dragged out from the soaking earth. How he looked? Uh, that uh, figure means that man looked freshly dragged out from the soaking earth. Dragged means a uh, pull. Dragged means pull. Soaking means extremely wet. Soaking means extremely wet. dragged from the soaking soaking means extremely wet he looks extremely wet he was dripping wet and cold as clay he is uh, dripping wet and cold as a clay here he is uh, looks just like a clay clay means a soft sticky earth that you can use for making the pots his hands gripped my arms and his horrible voice said me might cut my throat what he is thinking he is thinking uh, he will kill me i believed every word but he did not cut my throat he tripped me upside down to empty my pockets what he thought he will kill him but it not happened he is uh, searching for something he kept a piece of bread with me when i could to throw to save it starving dog that guarded near the farm see and what he done he is, he is searching something and he got uh, the a piece of bread he want to how he is searching he is searching just in a cruel manner in the cruel manner and uh, here <coughs>
Guarding means, as you all know, the dog guards our house nearby farm. The terrible man ate that dry bread as if might die if did not, and he mentioned that he might also eat me. See, so, uh, he want to give, he want to give that uh, piece of bread to that dog, but he took that bread. That uh, strange man took that bread. And he ate that bread. And what he is saying, if you are, if I need, I want to eat you also. I believe that too. I had never met a man who so plainly spoke the truth. He now what he the fifth is saying. I believe that too. I had never met a man who so plainly spoke the truth. He was a prisoner escaped. He was a prisoner escaped from that prison. I hope you understood this lesson. Remaining part of this lesson, I want to continue in the next class. Uh, thank you. Have a nice day.